Brand might have hooked a shark. Who the size of this one, friend? First cast in this crap. This is like a nature documentary. Hey guys! Woohoo! Woo! There's so many! Look at them going! Oh yeah! What an incredible way to wake up. We're on the outer Great Barrier Reef and this is the reason we love it out here. Dolphins putting on a show. Just put a wetsuit on now. We might have a small opportunity uh, to have a crack at a dog tooth tuna. I'm gonna jump in here. It's a likely looking spot and do a drift. Fran's gonna hold down the fort on board the boat, aren't you? No, buddy. If I find the doggies, you're gonna have to come in for reinforcement. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, I saw a couple of really big, beautiful Spanish mackerel, which would have been perfect, but we've already taken one of them on this series and we're playing by the rules, only one of each species for the entire trip. So oh, at least we're trying. <laughs> we're trying. So I lined up the mackerel and I was like, oh, but it didn't pull the trigger. But it's not quite doing the right thing for doggies out here at the moment. The stars really need to align for them. So um, we're going to have to leave them for another day and head into the shallows, the crystal clear water of the Great Barrier Reef. We'll jump in there for a swim. school came over to you. Snorkel was amazing. It's so good to see that the coral here is still thriving. And the fish life actually. There was some beautiful fish there. Lots of big coral trout. But we've got a little bit of leftover tuna from last night that we're going to snack on today for lunch. So we didn't take any. Yeah. But for now I'm really keen to go up onto this reef flat here right in the shallows. Uh, see if there's any turtles and stuff like that. And I'll also look at casting a line because over these reef flats there's a chance of catching some really cool fish. Let's go give it a crack. All tag team here, friend. You get the little ones and I'll get the big ones. Doesn't look like we're getting anything. <laughs> Just wait, there'll be a GT around here somewhere. There's a pretty epic crack in the reef here. And when we're swimming, these are the kind of spots where you see lots of big coral trout. So 
I'll have a cast and see if I can trick any into eating this lure. Oh, yeah. Oh. First cast in this crack. That was awesome. Can you see what it is? I think it's a small GT. What a beautiful spot. This is why we love these remote areas of the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, a little GT. Oh, he's got a couple of mates following him as well. That's awesome. Still got a bit of go about him. I'll land him up here. Hey, yo. Beauty. Looking good looking. You know, steaks for lunch. So that wind was picking up a little bit out at the reef. So we've come back into the islands here. We just anchored up having a bite to eat and then we're actually gonna go ashore and set up camp on one of these other islands. But we've found quite a cool little, uh, little bay here that's out of the wind and out of the swell. We're just surrounded by coral all around us. as one nice little anchorage. Anyway, we're starving. So this smells really good. It's gonna be pretty simple, I think. Just, just tuna cooked in the pan. Ready. Mmm, they smell good. Come on up. We are back on the island where the Great Adventure 1 first started. We are. Very exciting. Some really good memories. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paradise. Yeah. Sorry, last night we were exhausted, we needed to do some planning, so we just wanted the camera off for one night. Yeah. But today we're gonna take you with you. I'm gonna drop Jack off on an island to do a survival challenge, mm -hmm. which we'll play on the Back to Basic Adventures channel, so don't miss that one. Yeah. And I'm gonna do some editing on board the boat to get the episodes to you, <laughs> and then uh, we'll get back to the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So stay with us. Room with a view here, hey friend. No. All right. <laughs> that looks alright. Salty banana floats. Go, go, go! <sighs> Captain Cook has made it ashore. Let the survival challenge begin. <laughs> alright, good luck. Over. Mwah. So we are now back on the island where things really started on YouTube for Fran and I. That's now three years ago. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to anyone that has hung around, followed the journey since then. Uh, at that time, I'd just been fired from the job I was doing and all I wanted to do was go rogue, go on a bit of an adventure, explore sort of different lands, uh, be immersed in nature and that's what we did. And to now think that three years later, this is I guess our full-time job and it's now paying the fuel bills while we're doing it is pretty amazing. It's honestly a dream come true and it, it's all thanks to you guys. So, so honestly, thank you guys so much for, for watching and following the adventure. I hope it's given you some joy. I hope it's given you guys some adventure, but I can assure you whatever joy it may have given you guys, you guys have provided so much for us. So honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for making this a reality. Jack, look, there's, there's a huge buster over there. Check this out. This entire dark shadow here is just all bait fish. You can see the birds diving in it. The birds attacking it from above. And some bigger shadows on the outside that there's definitely reef sharks in there and they, they might actually be GTs on the outside. Look at this. This is awesome. See the birds diving? This is like a nature documentary playing out right before our very eyes here. So 
Jack has just done his survival challenge and we're gonna try to catch something for dinner now. Oh, turtle! We're off, we're off. We've come deep into the mangroves here. You guessed it guys, we're looking for giant mud crabs. One of the best meals you can find around here. And we're just gonna sort of creep along here and see what we can find. Oh, that's a good hole. Oh, who's this one? A couple of big of those sweet lip here. Oh. Have you seen anything, Fran? No, not on my end. We've got a pretty good vantage point down. Just waiting to see a big crab, but there's a few fish, but no crabs. Bummer. So oh, good. What a bummer. Oh, oh, my, holy moly, there's a whale splashing the tail over there. But I don't know if I can. What? <laughs> That's crazy, we were in the mangroves and heard this boom, boom, boom and we thought someone, and we thought someone was shooting a gun and it's a whale slapping its tail. That's so cool. That's crazy, we heard that vibrating in the mangroves, we had no idea what it was. It was almost like a gunshot, we come running out and I don't know why it's hitting the water so aggressively but it's, I don't know what it's doing, it's crazy at the moment. Maybe we'll have to do a snail catch and cook. So many of these guys. We found a big hole. It's a huge hole. Yeah. A crocodile in there. Oh, tell me that someone is It goes in so deep though. It does, isn't it? That's a pretty one. Yeah. See a stingray? I love my face and sting me. I think Jack just found one. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Look at the size of this one, friend. Oh, oh, oh. I almost stepped on him. Wow. Is that oh, where'd he go? No. no. He just disappeared. I reckon he went that way. <laughs> Don't step on it. Should have just grabbed him. Oh, he must be just here. <laughs> it's under that tree over there, I think. It must be, hey. Can you see him? No. Oh, no. Only chance to get lost. There's a little epaulet shark in the mangroves over there. That's where they're coming. It's over there. It's pretty shy. looking at us oh. I hope you can see that oh my god I'm gonna fall right on top of his head it's a baby one Jack I think we should go we're gonna miss the tide otherwise we'll be stuck here I'm so bummed we had a really good chance and I missed it I just hesitated for the camera to be in the right spot we missed our chance, so back to the boat, feeling a bit defeated at the moment. And hungry. <laughs> and hungry. All right, we're still without any substantial food. So on the way home here, we're going down a reef edge. Friends up the front casting a lure. Fingers crossed we can catch some, something to bring home. We really are relying on seafood for uh, the main source of protein here. And there could be any type of reef fish over this reef here. Well, this is a beauty, friend. <gasps> oh. It's a big one, eh? Yeah, it's a big one. It's red. It might be a cod, is it, or a trout? A mangrove jack? I think it's a big cod. Is it? Yeah. All right, get him up. I think you should be clear now. He's heavy, eh? Oh, he's strong. He's <gasps> <It's> so rocky. <laughs> the boat, yeah. It's a nice fish. Oof. On the light little rod, eh? Yeah. Easy, does it? Oh, beautiful flowery cod, Fran. 
Well done. Nice Gee, he one. smashed that lure, didn't he? Yeah. It's a really nice one. <laughs> okay, we're yeah. gonna let him go. Look at that beautiful fish, eh? Yeah. So well camouflaged for the reef. Yeah, Watch him just perfect. disappear down here. Oops. Down he goes. <laughs> there, there was a whole school of them came out, eh? Yeah. These don't come undone. Nice one, that's what we were seeing in the mangroves. Get it from there? Yeah. Woohoo! Nice catch, Fran. Is first, it big enough for dinner? First cast, it is big enough for dinner. You're coming home. Coming home for dinner, mate. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Jack's turn. The, look at them all. Oh, there's a big trout, that's a big trout. Oh, there was a nice trout came off this bommy to hit it. Fish on! He's trying to get in the reef. Yeah, cool. Very close to getting in there as well. That could go in the car with the other one. Yeah, I think he's coming on board. <laughs> we got a fish. Add him to the car with the other one? I think so. Yeah, I think that'd be perfect. He's a yellow tailed emperor. Oh no. Oh, he's on. I just saw a big fin come out of the water. Fran might have hooked a shark accidentally. Why did you do that, mate? Uh oh. Ooh. oh. We definitely don't want this guy, so we'll be doing our best to get the hook out quick, smart, and letting him go. Well done. <laughs> just trying to relax here, and Jackie's on again. I'm going to have to get a mask, Fran. He's got me in the reef. Oh no. Jack is going in. <laughs> I wonder if it's still on. <sighs> he got off. Oh no, he got off. It's all right. There's a huge current line here of a microalgae called Trichodesmia. So much. We've got a couple of new species for dinner. Uh, some miscellaneous little emperors. Uh, this one's a thumbprint emperor. And we've got a yellow finned emperor as well. I can't believe we swam past so many good coral trout out at the reef to be eating these guys, but we'll let you know what they taste like. Tonight in the back to basic witch kitchen, we're gonna have a super and emperor curry. <laughs> nice. What are you up to there, Fran? So I shallow fry the onions, garlic, ginger, sweet potatoes and then added the curry paste and now I'm gonna put it into the pot because I can't fit in here a coconut cream and when it's really hot I'm gonna put the fish in sounds good smells really really good right it's boiling the fish is going in for a couple of minutes and this is the final ingredient eh? yep it's all come together final Product. Oh, you've got a bit greedy there. It's dripping down the outside, friend. Oh, there you go. Amazing. You're gonna have to rate it. Okay, a couple of new species to rate. All right, let's the rating begin. Hmm. <laughs> so I'd say challenge. They're not that impressive. Challenge would be a one out of five. No, but... maybe a two. They're not as easy as a cod. Okay. Fair. Two out, Two out of five, five for challenge. a challenge for the miscellaneous emperors. Yeah. Taste. Oh, anything in Fran's curry is, is pretty good. Pretty bloody good. But that's a good answer. Probably yes. a three out of five. Three I out think, of five. I think is where they belong, okay. I reckon. All right, guys. If you want to watch these episodes ad free and help us out with the fuel bills, then you can join us on Patreon. You can donate us little as two dollars. Otherwise, you can keep watching them for free on YouTube every Sunday. Cheers, guys. Thanks for the crew already on there. Yeah. We really appreciate your support. Thanks and so much. For the rest of you guys on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. We'll, uh, we'll see you next Sunday. See you next Sunday.